Well, look at Monday evening as you head out the door for Tuesday. Make sure to give yourself some extra time. Temperatures are going to be in the 20s and it's going to be cloudy with some flurries around. It's not going to be probably until the afternoon where we might get to near freezing if maybe a degree or two above. Not going to make it much above freezing tomorrow. So anything out on the roads this evening into the overnight and early morning hours tomorrow, make sure to be careful. There will be black ice out there, a little bit of snow out there on the roads as well. Future cast temperatures showing those tonight dropping down into the 20s, low 20s, possibly some teens in the higher elevations. Notice tomorrow morning, though, even by 11 o'clock, most of us are still right at freezing, if not a degree or two below. Now down to the coal fields, you'll be slightly above freezing. Radar showing snow showers continuing this evening into the overnight hours. They will start to wind down as we go into the pre-dawn hours tomorrow. Can't roll out a stray snow shower tomorrow or some flurries. It'll be mostly cloudy, but there will be maybe a few breaks in the clouds by the afternoon hours. Don't expect a whole lot of warming to go on. Another little sneaky little wave of energy tries to move in here as we go into early Wednesday morning that could produce a few snow showers. Not expecting any much in the way of any accumulating snow, but be mindful we may see a few snow showers early Wednesday morning. All thanks to a big strong low pressure system off the New England coast. Another little wave of energy and upper level low swinging through, giving us that moisture and that upslope snow event we've seen today. And then there's another one diving out of Canada that may bring us a few snow showers early Wednesday. High pressure building to the south. It's not warming us up a whole lot right now, but it will by the end of the work week. Additional snowfall amounts look to average anywhere between maybe a half of an inch up to an inch and a half on average. Notice the higher elevations, the snow continues overnight tonight and through the day tomorrow, that upslope event. So they could see an additional four inches in those highest elevations. Another concern tonight will be the wind gust. We could see those gusts as high as 25, if not 30 miles an hour. These will relax though as we go into the day tomorrow. So that's good news. But then notice what happens late tomorrow night into early Wednesday. They pick back up just slightly into that 20 25 mile per hour range that has prompted a wind advisory to continue until 7 a.m. Tuesday. Pocahontas County, Greenbrier, Monroe, Summers, Mercer, Taswell, Southeastern Nicholas, Southeastern Webster County. Also, when you factor in the wind and those temperatures, it's going to feel like the teens out there tonight, single digits and the higher elevations. Make sure that you do bundle up and limit your time outdoors. Tomorrow, though, it feels more like the 20s. So here's a little storm timeline. Snow ending tomorrow morning. Still slick travel. Additional one to maybe four inches on the highest ridge tops. 30s feeling like the 20s over the next couple of days. Temperatures tonight are cold down to the 20s. Here's your seven day forecast. Flurries tomorrow. Temperatures barely making it above freezing. Some partly cloudy skies Wednesday. 40, 42 on Thursday. Another system moves in. Temperatures right at 44 with a slight chance of a shower. Dry and sunny for Saturday, but chilly. We'll start to warm up by the late weekend, early next week with rain showers returning by Monday.